got that we're champions now. Dark Bronos. Aren't they cute? Yeah, those are the ones we're getting. Yeah, this is a large water. <laughs> this is a large cup from McDonald's. And Hello. Welcome. I'm Crystal. I'm Steve. And today. Why did I say it like that? What'd you say? And I'm Steve. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting baby chicks today. It's April 16th, 2022, and we just realized that we had ordered baby chicks back in February, and today's the day that they had said we could pick them up. So that's what we're gonna go do. Last year we had gotten six. This year we're getting two. We're getting different breed than we have already. We already have two lavender orpingtons, two buff orpingtons, and two black australerps. So the first thing that we need to do is get our stock tank inside. Steve cleaned it out yesterday. This is a big stock tank that we bought last year after realizing the benefits of using this versus just some tote. It's kind of got a roughed up surface so that their little feet don't slip around too much. It's high enough where they can't just jump out right away. As they get bigger, they will be able to, but we use baby gates on the top of it and it prevents them from jumping out. So we're just gonna wipe down the side of it and bring it inside. Back up doggies. We have the towels underneath it so it won't scratch the wood floors. You don't need the brown one. And oh, okay, good. This is my favorite canning towel. They'll get some light over here too. The other thing is, is we have one. I think we have another. We have two outlets over here for their heater. First, let me talk about the supplies that we have. We have these little chick feeder things that you can get very inexpensively at Tractor Supply or any feed or grain store. They usually have these. We have those, and then we also had purchased two larger ones. They're like a step up from those. So we have those to yes. upgrade to if they need it. But last year we had six chicks. This year we're only having two, so we might not ever need to use that. I don't know. I also have a thermometer here. Just keep it in near the heater to make sure it doesn't get too hot in there, which is not really necessary, but we like it, we use it. For the most part, the chicks self-regulate. This is the heater that we use. I'll go ahead and build it with you in a second. Last year we had used the organic chick start. We bought a 40 pound bag and we went through it pretty quickly but that was with six chicks. This year is only two. We bought the 40 pound bag because that's what I do. I like to buy in bulk and it should last us. We also have the hydro hen stuff. And last year I had purchased the little packets. You can get the little tiny packets and you you know, you know, put a little bit into the water and I think it turns orange. You just have to read the back. It gives you the equation of how much powder to water, the whatever the ratio is. This kind I like so much better. It's hydro hen. From what I remember, it smelled like vanilla. It's got a, a scoop inside of it and it lasts a little bit longer and I just really like it. It's important to um, make sure that they, they have electrolytes here because it's kind of stressful, all the stuff that they go through in their first few days that they're alive. Steve is going to go wash the containers here and I'm gonna go ahead and put this together and then wipe it down. This is a really cool heater. I'll link the video that we did last year to setting this stuff up. It was definitely a much more <laughs> informative video, I think. But there's these levels. You can move the heater up and down as they get bigger and it's tilted. I have it on the first, the very first holes here, and then they can just run underneath. As they get bigger, they jump on the top and they poop all over the top of this, but this is so easy to wipe off. The only problem is, is because this is heated, the uh, chick poop bakes to it, but it's seriously so easy to wipe off, and I don't know, I just like it better than the, the heat lamp personally, and with the stock tank, they have so much more room to run around in there that if they get too hot under this, they just move they just move themselves away from it. Six chickens that we have would get underneath here and they would snuggle in together every night. They're just so cute. All right, this is the Thermo Poultry Brooder. I don't remember the exact size of this, but if we're talking about canning jars, I think it looks like a quart size jar. And then this is just, I don't know, I save cups and I reuse them. This is a large, water. <laughs> 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 
This is a large cup from McDonald's, and here in the States, I believe it's 32 ounces. I could be wrong. I just asked Alexa, and that's what she told me. So I have the water there, and then now we're going to open up this. And that's what it looks like. And it, yeah, it for sure smells like vanilla. Add one scoop of Hydro Hen to one gallon of water. So if this is a quart, that would be a quarter of a gallon. So I have to add a quarter of a scoop. I think that's a quarter of a scoop. And then we'll add the water. Look at that. And this screws on the top really easy. I'll flip that over inside the stack tank. This is going to be our official <laughs> scoop for the chick start inside. I have the chick start here. Here's what the bag looks like. And like I said, we got a 40 pound bag uh, shortly after we had ordered the chicks because I like to be prepared. Last year when we had fed the chicks, I actually didn't even put this entire thing in there. I thought it was too much. This just twists off the top and we're just gonna put their food in here until they really start jumping in it and pooping in it and everything else. So this will be fine. And then once they're a little bit bigger, we'll put this on and then we'll also do this as well. And we'll fill this with food, but that's pretty much it. Now we're gonna go get the shavings. I know that Tractor Supply and stuff, they sell the chick start shavings and things like that. They're kind of expensive. You get way more and we have we use it for the goats and the chickens and stuff outside. So, you know, we already have these bags here. For space saving, you can buy the smaller bags. They're just not cheaper. Um, this, this is like, I don't know, between five and $7. And then from what I remember, those smaller bags are like around eight or $9, I think. Now you can spread them out, okay? Can you get in there, honey? Use that and push it around. There you go. Looks good. All right, now I'm going to put the heater in. Can you step out for a second? All right, I just switched the sides so that the cord would be out on the in the corner here. So I'm going to put it in that way. All right, I'm going to plug it in now for them so it's warmed up when they get home. And we have their food. Add in and the water. I'll put their food closer. And that's it. As far as using things like chick grit and stuff, we wait. You know, we wait for until they're like two or three weeks old, and then I'll start scattering chick grit in here for them to peck around at. And I'll also start feeding them little, little tiny scratch grains and things. I'll hang lettuce from the top. And then at that point, we'll probably have their food hanging also so that they can't jump in it. But that's all stuff I can show you later when we do it. Now we're going to go get the chicks. We're here. We're at the mm -hmm. farm store in town. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, here we go. So you just want to keep them for you know, pets? Oh, those ones are so cute. Oh, they're so we cute. We pre-ordered the Brahmas, the dark ones. Yep. Look at these ones. Those are Easter eggs. <laughs> they go here. Hey. Hey. Oh. Oh. Also, those ones have like a green. That they're probably marked. Dark Brahmas. Are they cute? Yeah, those are the ones we're getting. Yeah. Oh, so cute. Oh, there they are. Face. We got two dark Brahmas. Yes. Aren't they cute? Can I pet them on the game? When we get home, yeah. And we're going inside. The next time they're outside is when we move them to the chicken coop. Okay, here's the box. They're so sweet. Isn't she sweet? Mm -hmm. I wonder what we're going to name her. I don't know. Hmm? I thought they were going to hold like them in a little bit. I'm going to let them relax in here for a few minutes, okay? We tap this. 
And then we also dip their beaks in the water so they know where to get water. It was really tempting to get two more, <laughs> but we didn't. We stuck to it. We only got the two. There they go. So now we have eight chickens. We will have eight chickens. Yep. So a couple of things about the breeds that we got here. They're pretty a quiet breed um they're the dark brahma chickens and they have feathered feet and <laughs> they look so cute even when they're grown up we got them and we're really excited to see them grow they're a cold hardy breed they have a tendency to lay eggs going into winter time and i believe they lay medium to large brown eggs we'll keep them in here and we'll keep you updated when we do when we make changes to the stock tank here as they get bigger as well as when we start adding different kinds of foods and stuff for them to pick at. But for the most part, we really we really like the quieter breeds and even the quiet ones can be kind of loud. You can check out our other chicken videos, but we have two buff Orpingtons, two lavender Orpingtons, two black Australorps, and now two dark Brahmas, right? Yep. <laughs> Oh, that'll do it for this video. Yeah. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. <laughs> and if you're not subscribed, please consider, consider subscribing. We would really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Mm, go back to our sweet little death day. I've got our chickens now. <laughs>